Hey, what's up guys? This is Chase and for today's Hashtag CSR Archives episode number... I don't know what episode number is. Anyway, we are going to have a Q&A for today. Kung ano ba nangyayari sa auditions, ano yung mga frequently asked questions about being a courtside reporter. And I actually asked you guys or yung mga nagpo-follow sa akin sa Instagram, nagpost ako ng if you have any questions about the auditions or about being a courtside reporter. Because recently, GMA Sports Philippines or NCAA Philippines announced that they are looking for courtside reporters for the upcoming NCAA season 99. So, oh my gosh, isang taon na lang. Like, after the season, after season 99, magsi season 100 na. So, I feel like it's going to be... Ganun, ganun so if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. Okay, so first question, and this is actually the usual question that na they ask me. What are the requirements to be a courtside reporter? So uh, the requirements to be a courtside reporter actually nakalagay naman siya dun sa poster na release ng NCAA Philippines, which I'm going to show somewhere here in the screen. And as you can see, yun yung requirements prior to the auditions itself. So, you have to, para siyang initial submission of application. And usually, doon na nila inaassess we're going to have a callback for the audition itself. Next question, what course or program is required? Actually, wala namang required course. As you can see dun sa requirements, wala namang nakalagay dun na dapat kung graduate ka or dapat nag-aaral ka pa ng kom, wala. So, during the batch namin na NCA season 97, iba iba kami ng program na tinit ng college or mi iba kasi sa amin nagaaral pa, mi iba sa amin graduate na. So for me and Blanche, we both took up literature. We both took up literature, but we also had batch mates na nagtake ng psychology or nagtitake pa rin ng psychology. Si Seb, he was taking up his course in med tech or medical technology and right now nag me med na siya so literally kahit na anong course or program nyo pwede siya sa NCA. Next question, am I allowed to wear braces? I haven't encountered a courtside reporter yet na naka braces for NCA. I can only speak for NCA. And as far as I remember, si Cha, one of our courtside reporters and my batchmate Alam ko nung initial part ng mga audition, naka braces siya. Pero when the league started, wala na yung braces niya. So, I think hindi dapat maging hindrance for you if you are going to audition kung naka braces ka. Kasi, feeling ko naman, if you really have what it takes, baka malusutan yung dapat walang braces. Pero, I think it's definitely up to the management or to the production kung papatanggal nila yung braces mo or hindi. Pero, if we are just talking about you going to audition and ang nagi hinder sa yo is baka hindi ka tanggapen dahil naka braces ka. Um, I hope na hindi yun yung rason. I hope you take this as a sign to just go for it. Next question Is it okay if I don't know anything about basketball or the other sports? Generally speaking, dapat may alam ka sa basketball. Most especially, basketball is the first sport that na ginagawa namin sa NCAA or kino cover namin sa NCAA. So when the auditions happen, there's a tendency na tatanungin ka ng panel if you know anything about basketball. And if ang isasagot mo is wala, that just automatically gives the impression na are you really interested in the job or you're just doing this for another reason. So I think it just boils down to how willing are you to learn about basketball or about sports in general and I guess you have to show initiative na din na you're willing to learn and the mere fact na nag-audition ka dapat prior to the audition meron ka na din talagang alam about basketball or NCAA in general. Next question, what happens during the auditions? So it's definitely different when I auditioned for NCAA season 94 way back when it was still with another channel. So, nung season 94, during my rookie year, I remember going to the... going to ABS-CBN mismo. And nag-audition ako doon with my friend, si Lance. So, si Lance noon, siya lang talaga dapat yung mag-audition. I was making up excuses na, I wait, kailangan kong makita yung thesis advisor ko. So, we were 
fourth year college nung time na yun. So, I, I wait kailangan kong antayin yung thesis advisor ko. Kapatsyak ako na ganito, ganyan. So, Lance just really pushed me na mag-audition with him. And, lo and behold, ako yung nakapasok nung time na yun. And si Lance, at the time din kasi, hindi pa sila tumatanggap ng male courtside reporters. But that's for another story. But anyway, nung time na yun, I remember there was this panel and merong camera siguro to check if uh, maganda yung projection mo sa screen. And then, I remember uh, introducing myself. They gave me a scenario. Ang scenario ko pa nun, And that was the first time I met Martin Javier. So, parang i-interviewin ko siya kasi basketball player siya. Pero wala siya last game kasi injured siya. So, ano yung itatanong ko sa kanyang questions? Since nakabalik na siya from that injury. So, something like that. So, yun yung naalala ko sa season 94. And then, I had a callback. And naalala ko yung kalaban ko nun for that, during that time, is, ang ganda ng girl, as in, tinititigan ko yung mukha na, ang ganda niya, ang lit ng mukha niya, tapos, wala siyang pores. Like, wala siyang pores. And at that time, of course, I was young, I was insecure, syempre, man, hindi ka pa ganun ka-confident sa skin mo, pero, ang inisip ko na lang nun is, ano ba yung pwede ko maging puhunan, or parang, what do I capitalize on, or what is my strength? So, for me, yung strength ko is my voice. So, if you haven't observed yet, medyo malalim yung boses ko and hindi siya usual for a girl. Kaya, minsan kapag sa telephone ako unang naririnig na kausap ko, kala nila lalaki ako. Tapos, Chase pa yung nickname ko. So, like, kala talaga nila lalaki ako. But anyway, uh, for season 97, I remember si Sir Vic, he messaged me na there's an upcoming audition, so audition daw ako, and I did. And yung pinaka naaalala ko was during the last day, uh, syempre pandemic pa to, so virtual pa siya. It, ang pinaka naaalala ko dun was, Martin was there, Anton, ha, Anton Rojas was also there, and they asked us virtually to come up with a report kung bakit kami deserving or bakit kami ang dapat isa sa mapili na courtside reporter for NCA Season 97. And it's such a big deal at that time kasi after pandemic, eto na, meron na ulit live action ng sports. So it was such a big deal at that time to be a part of that. And of course, me being an NCAA baby, I really wanted to be a part of it to continue what I was doing before. I don't know if I still have a video, but if I do have a video, I'm gonna insert it here. Oh, see Chase, di ba? After I'm um, see Chase, you know. Ah, si Chase na. Nakompo, matas ang expectation natin dito. Kailangan limang minuto to magsasalita. Sige. Tahimik na nagmamasid, pero taos puso ang pagsuporta. Handa na ako maging instrumento muli ng mga coaches at ng mga players para ibahagi sa mga manonood natin ang kwentong NCAA nila. So, yun. And then after that, after everyone's pretty much done, Martin told us na they have to cut us into half. Everybody did a, a great job today. Of course, you have your own styles and you showed it. You showed your personality here. Um, some of you are familiar faces. Some of you are fresh faces. Actually, most of you are, are new faces here. But unfortunately, we have to half you. Uh, not literally, pero kailang, pero may malalaglag daw na kalahate doon sa Zoom call na yun. But apparently, it's just a joke and all of us na nandun na pala sa Zoom is pasok na as courtside reporters. So. Um, we're just here to congratulate everybody! Guys, congratulations! You guys are not Congratulations! The team! That's congratulations! Pasok na kayo, congratulations! Yeah. Kina ba, kina ba, Chase? Ang sinasabi ko na isa lang ako kukunin sa USD. Kina ba, ako nagdadasal na ako, Sir Lids. Sana si Sophia tsaka si Lance next year na lang. <laughs> It was such a fun experience. Naka, medyo nostalgic siya. Kasi medyo marami na din sa amin yung wala ngayon sa roster nung season 98. So, yeah. Anyway, at sya na pahaba yung story time doon. Next question. Any tips during the auditions? Well, first... I know this is cliche, pero first impression last. So it's important na kung anong sa sao tayo, you have to be comfortable and at the same time, kailangan din sa sao tayo palang mapakita nyo na kung anong personality nyo. So I hope you find the right 
fit of clothes sa inyo. Like, don't dress up as if you're someone else. Like, dress up the way you're gonna dress up. And you have to treat this na it's a job. So you have to be best foot forward dapat kayo. So, nagsistart yun sa impression. Like, your makeup, make it clean but simple. Hindi siya as light as possible kasi iba pa rin yung tama ng ilaw. Like, you have to consider a lot of things. Like, sa camera ba, magre-register yung makeup nyo. So, if not, pag-isipan nyo mabuti. So, play around. What do we prepare? Definitely, you have to research about NCAA Philippines and you have to research about the schools. So, in NCAA, some po yung schools. Kailangan at least man lang may research kayo about the current teams or sino yung mga coaches, sino yung mga teams na merong uh, naglaro during the preseason. So, I think research really goes a long way and yun naman talaga yung kailangan mo. I mean, as a reporter, research is a basic thing to do. Like, research. Don't rely so much on other people. Kasi yung pagiging courtside reporter, hindi nyo siya pwedeng iasa sa iba. Kailangan nyo talaga mag-research. Like, tips in general, well, just be your... Ang cliche na, pero be yourself. Lalabas kasi talaga sa reporting mo yung style mo and yung personality mo. So, if hindi ka ganun ka-confident sa ginagawa mo, makikita siya eh. Makikita siya sa camera. Uh, one tip, also prepare. Um, think of scenarios na pwede mangyari during a basketball game. And ask yourself, kapag nangyari yung scenario na yun, paano nyo siya i-report? We are down to our last three questions. Chase, any tips on how to handle pressure in writing a report on the spot? What works for me is I just really try to stay focused. Most especially if yung kailangan ko i-report is hinihingi na agad ng panel. So, a perfect example for that would be an injury report. Usually, pag may na-injured, kailangan agad ma-report yun sa panel. What I do, I just make sure that all the details that I need is nandoon sa report ko. And nilalagay ko yung sarili ko sa hat ng viewer. Like, if I was the viewer or ako yung nanonood ng game, ano yung gusto kong malaman about that particular game or about that injury? Next question. Any tips for the audition slash intro video? Oh my gosh, I remember mine. My tip would be that's the first thing that they're gonna see. That's gonna be the basis. Kung maka magkakaroon ka ba ng callback or not. So you have to give it your all. It's not really about the editing. It's not really about doing something fancy na kailangan mo ganyan transition or whatever. Just make sure na yung laman nung sasabihin mo, worth it siya na hindi mo sinayin yung oras nung manonood nun. And again, that's the basis if you are gonna get the callback. So make sure na maayos ka, presentable ka, yung sasabihin mo, yung modulation ng voice mo, everything's there. Because that's your only chance to get a callback. So yeah, thank you so much for sending in your questions. And of course, I hope I was able to answer the frequently asked questions about being a courtside reporter. And if you are still thinking about doing it, na mag-send kayo ng email na mag audition kayo, I hope that you take this as a sign. The mere fact that you are watching this, it just goes to show that you are interested or you want to know if you really have the guts to be a courtside reporter. And it's not every day that you are given a chance to have an opportunity like this. As one of my mentors said, if an opportunity comes your way, grab them by its horns. Like, eto na. The next time an audition will happen, probably next year na. What if next year walang audition? So, nakakapanghinayang. And, you know, opportunities dapat. Hindi natin yung regret yun. Like, if an opportunity comes, grab nyo na siya. Kasi kapag hindi nyo siya grinab, mas malaki pa yung tendency na i-regret nyo. So, like, ikaw yung nanonood, mag-audition ka na. Key. So that's it for this vlog. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have other questions. Uh, if you have other questions and if you want to do another Q&A vlog or if you have any suggestions about the vlogs or the videos that I can create. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.